Hi, I'm John Hazard, and for me, it's all about food. some steamed fish. I have some red snapper here and uh, I'm not sure if you guys have had cuckoo before but it's something to eat in Barbados all the time especially like on a Saturday and it's basically cooked cornmeal with uh, okras. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the okra water going. So I have a few okras here sliced already. I'm just gonna slice a few more to put, to put with this and cuckoo is something I love and I love it with what people call uh, mellow. That's why I love my cuckoo, nice and mellow. And um, it's something I eat in Barbados. Well, almost used to eat it like every Saturday, but um, I've now kind of shifted to like putting in sauce on a Saturday. But it's something I really, really enjoy. So I wanted to share it with you. And today is really a Thursday, but I felt like, you know what? Let me have some cuckoo for lunch. So that's what I'm gonna make today for you. So we kind of slice our okras up, just like this. So I kind of slice them up. I have a pot of water here, it's just like that. And I'm gonna add these to my water, but I'm also gonna put some salt in my water first. So I'm gonna season the salt. The salt helps to retain the chlorophyll within the uh, okras itself. Okay, so that's good. So let's put this into the pot. I'm gonna first put some salt into the water. So, Put some salt in here. Good. That's good. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our okras. And we're gonna add that right in there. Just get all that out. That seems good. And what I'm gonna do is to give this a stir. And what we want to have handy is we are going to strain our okras from our liquid when it's all cooked, but I still want it to be nice and green. So I already have a colander set up in a bowl, and then I'll probably pour it into here, and I'll also have a ladle as well too. Okay, let's check our okras now. So I normally move the water around, and I'm going to just test one. I so love okras. I love the slimeness of okras. I know some people can't take the slimeness of okras, but these are, these are finished. These are good. So now I'm going to pour this right into this colander here. I'll do it here so you can see. Let's just get my mittens. Turn this off. And we're going to pour this right in here. Right inside there. I'm going to lift this out. Because I want, I need this okra liquid. I'm going to take this now. I'm going to wrap this above here and I'm going to take this liquid, which is what I want to start with, and I'm going to pour this in here. Good, so that's in there. Let's take this out now and we're going to rest this in here. I'm going to rest this to a side and come back to it. Fish. Let's work on the fish now. We're going to take this fish, this snapper. Uh, I love to use flying fish, generally speaking, didn't get any today, but I'm just going to cut this hair in half. In Barbados, we like to make what's called a lime and salt water mix mixture. So basically, we have some uh, water. I just need to pour a little bit of that. I have some limes already went ahead and squeezed. And we have some salt. We're going to pour this in here. And then we're going to give this a good stir. Just get this out of the way so you can see. So we're going to give this a stir. And then we're going to taste it to just make sure it has a, a good lime and salt flavor. Let's just give it a taste. Yeah, that's strong enough. So that's going to help take away some of the freshness of the fish. And also give the fish a bit of flavor as well too. So we're going to put this fish in here. I'm going to put a bit of this in the bottom first. Put the fish in here and put this over the fish. Now, what we're going to make today, which you normally make in Barbados, is like a tomato gravy, kind of like a Creole sauce. 
So we're gonna make that right now. So we leave this here just to sit in that for a little bit, probably just about 10, 15 minutes, maybe 10 minutes is enough. What I have here really now is uh, some stuff to make the black and spice mix. Some uh, salt, paprika, cayenne pepper, black pepper, and I have some garlic powder. What I'm lacking here is some onion powder. You can also put in some thyme leaves as well too. So I'm gonna put all these together into one cup. Let's put it all together. This one is a little bit more difficult to come up. This is the garlic powder. Get all this up. And then what we're gonna do now, just stir all this together. And this is gonna be for our black and spice mix for our fish. So I'm gonna coat the fish in this first, and then I'm going to uh, sear the fish. So that's for the black and spice mix. We're gonna go ahead now and start our sauce for our fish and get our sauce going. And then once we sear the fish, we can add the fish directly into the sauce. So we're gonna put this, let's start first our uh, sauce. I'll rest this here for a second. I want to show you this. Let's just rest it here. Let's start the sauce. Good. So we're gonna start our sauce now. I'm gonna put a little oil into this pan. Let's just dry the pan out first. It has a little water in it. So get rid of all this moisture. Good, that's good. I'm gonna put a little olive oil in here. Let's just get this oil nice and hot. Okay, we have the oil in the pan. We're gonna go ahead now and add our onions. We can add it even though it's not quite hot because we're gonna sweat it so it doesn't have to be uh, totally hot. We just want to uh, have a translucent color and flavor but we don't want to brown the onions or anything of that nature. I have garlic here as well too. Garlic, I love garlic actually. Really, really flavorful. One thing I love so much is scotch bonnet pepper, so we can give a little spice to our dish. Again, when you're using your fingers like me, just make sure you don't put your hands, your fingers into your eyes. This will affect you the entire evening. I have some celery. We have that in there as well too. I also have some jalapeno peppers. And also too, what I'm missing, which I didn't have in my fridge, would be some red and green bell peppers. And you can also add yellow as well too. That I'm missing. So you're gonna sweat this around. Good, we have this moving around nicely. Good, that's looking good. And what we're gonna do is once this is going, we're gonna go ahead and start our uh, cuckoo. So I'm gonna put the stove on here. Take some of our okra slash mixture. We're gonna put this right in here. So you just wanna have a little bit in the bottom to stir. Good. So this is smelling really good. Smelling lovely actually. So we're gonna allow this to sweat out. What I will do is I will put the lid on top of here, which will also allow it to sweat really nicely as well and release all these wonderful flavors. Put the lid on top here. Let me just get the cuckoo, or the, sorry, the cornmeal. Now I normally get fine cornmeal. This is a brand I normally buy by Rico, but I always get the fine one, not coarse. So I want it to be really mellow. So I'm gonna cut this off, cut this off. And I normally start with a little bit in, this, in the pot here first. Just a little bit. And we will add as we go along. Now, I don't have a wooden spoon, but normally a wooden spoon is what I highly recommend. So I'm moving this around in the pot. We have the heat on. And you notice I have the okras not in here. The okras are strained. And the okras are separate. Um, the reason why is because if you leave them in here, they will turn brown with all the cooking. So let's just leave this to the side. Stir this all around, let's check, I can smell this, it smells really good. You can lower that heat a bit. Let's just give this a stir. Oh, this smells really good. This, this, this is very important to sweat these out because this is where the bulk of our flavor is gonna be. It smells really good. Just cover this back. Check our cuckoo here again. I'm gonna raise the heat up a bit. Check 
kind of mixing this up. So you see, I only have a small amount in here at the moment. As you can see, so we're mixing this up. And then I'm gonna add a bit more of this liquid here, this flip over slash water. Just add a little bit here, more. And that's the process we're gonna keep adding and liquid, adding cuckoo. Ideally, it's nice if you have like a cuckoo stick. Uh, or what is better? I'm gonna have to get a wooden spoon. Uh, add some more cornmeal. And then now, we stir it again. So I'm stirring. It's important to stir and make sure it's nice and smooth at this stage so we don't have any lumps. It's smelling good. I wish you guys could smell it. So mix this all up. Okay, that's looking good. Take this lid off, this is looking good. To this, we're gonna add some chopped tomatoes. That's good. We're gonna pour a little water in here just to wash it around. And that's good. Just gonna shake this a bit. Let's just check our cuckoo. We're gonna add a little bit more liquid in here. We'll press the liquid. And again, our fish is right there in the lime and salt mixture. Uh, taking in that nice lime flavor. And just mix this all around. And as it mixes, I'm gonna squeeze this against the sides of the pot to get any lumps. But ultimately as well too, that's important and the steam in the pot is also important for us in terms of lumps. Just in order to heat a bit. That's looking good. Just, I'm just squeezing and I'm just doing this, squeeze this against the sides of the pot just to get out of any lumps at all looking great. So let's just keep that going. Let's just check our sauce. This rest is right here. Let's check our sauce right now. Just want to see. I'm going to add a little tomato paste for this as well. This is looking good. You can see that. Looking good. So let's just add a little tomato paste. It does not develop the flavor as well as the color and also give it some body. I'm going to add a bit more liquid as well because I want a nice little gravy. So we can cook this out nicely. So what we have to do now is we have to cook this out really slowly. I'm gonna raise the heat and now alert to simmer. I'm also gonna put some salt and pepper in here now too as well. Let's just get some black pepper right here. I keep this down here handy for me. Put some black pepper in there. Not a lot, we'll come back and adjust the flavor later. Uh, let me just put some salt in here now. So that's some salt. And uh, let's just keep this here going. And let's check our cuckoo. The one that's trying to call me, I'm gonna go back to them shortly. I just need to work on this cuckoo here. So I'm gonna add now some more of the okra slash water. So we can add some more cornmeal. So we add that inside there. Move this around. So once you add the liquid, the water, you move around your your uh, corn, your cuckoo, get it all mixed in, and then once it's all mixed in, we're gonna be adding our cornmeal again until we get the yield, the amount we're looking for. I'm, I'm gonna use the entire bag actually. But it's a heavy meal, and once I eat this, I don't think I'll need to have any supper. Just something very light for, for supper really, nothing heavy. So now we're gonna add now cornmeal again. And I'm gonna go ahead and add all of this just to get it in the pot and be finished with it. So just put this aside. But well, that's looking good. I'm gonna add a bit more of the over slush liquid here. So we're adding this into it. Add another spoonful. And you don't want to add too too much because you don't want it to be. I want to add enough to get you know to be able to mix it well, but I don't want that it comes out to be a very soft mixture. So Turn this up now. Good. So this is how I pretty much made my cuckoo when I'm making it. But I use a wooden spoon usually. I don't usually use the cuckoo stick. But sometime in another show, I'll show you the cuckoo stick so at least you see it. But you see me getting this now into this. Uh, I hope you can see it. Let's just get another mitten. So I hope you can see that. So that's there. Let's just. Mix this up. 
I mix this against the spice of the pot. It's looking good. And then I'm gonna add now some more of this to make it even smoother. And one of the things which I do is I finish this here with butter. And I'll show you how I toss it and how I plate it and everything. I'll show you everything, so you see it. It's looking good. Good, so we're gonna let this here now steam out. It's got a good texture, which is right here. So we allow this now to cook out and steam out, and that's gonna cook the, the cornmeal. So we let that keep cooking out. Let's just check our sauce. This is looking good. I'm gonna taste the sauce now and add some other stuff to it. While that's cooking, I'll put this to the side and then we're gonna work on our fish. Let me taste it. So let's just taste the sauce. I'm gonna put a bit of lime juice in here. I love to have lime in my, and I have some cilantro in here as well. Add that to that sauce. Now let's just stir this around. And then we're gonna see if it needs more salt, and more pepper. Let's see what else it needs. We're gonna let it simmer just a bit. And then once we add the fish into here, that's also gonna give it another layer of flavor as well too. Let's just taste this. But of course it needs more simmer. Just gonna see if it needs more seasoning. Mmm. That's tasting delicious. Nice and limey. Not too, too limey, but it's tasting really good. A bit more black pepper. That's good. Let's stir this again. And then we're just gonna allow this now to simmer out. And I like to have a lot of sauce because I like sauce with my cuckoo. Let's just taste this again. Mm. This case been very good. So we're gonna allow this to simmer. And what we're gonna do now is to start to stir the fish. Let's just put this aside. <clears throat> I'm gonna put this in the back over here <clears throat> so we can stir the fish. Put it at a very low heat and now we work on the fish. Let's just get the pan. I have a pan here for the fish. Look, it's right here. I'm gonna put a little oil in here. I don't know if you can hear this, but this is steaming. It's steaming really beautifully. Oh, it's, it's coming nicely. I can hear the steam. I can see that this is gonna be a really phenomenal cooking. Get this pot up to nice and hot. This uh, frying pan, actually. What we want to do now is I'm gonna bring this plate over here. Uh, I'm gonna get my fish. So with the fish, I'm just gonna get rid of this liquid now. So that's my fish there. I'm gonna just serve these two big pieces on the cuckoo. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blacken this first. So I'm gonna get a plate so I can blacken it. I use this plate right here. So this is the mixture that's kind of running out of space. Okay, that's the black and spice mixture. Get it nice and hot. I'll put a bit here at the bottom. So I have my black and spice mixture here on my plate. I'll put my fish now, some on top of that. I coat this fish. Let's coat all too coat this really well with the black and spice mix. Um, and this is adding another layer of flavor when you're blacking it. So it's another layer of flavor. So it's all flavor we're looking at, layers of flavor. Let's just check our cuckoo. I'm gonna add a bit more of the poker slush water here. It's, it's saying add some more, add some more slush water. So I'm listening to it. I can hear it speaking to me. You hear that? Ooh, all that steam coming out, I can hear it speaking. This is gonna be a glorious cuckoo, really glorious. I'm glad I decided to prepare this today. Mm, oh, so lovely. So, we have this pan nice and hot. Let's get this here now, with some black, more black and spice mix on top. And black and spice mix is something that you can make up. And you can just put into, uh, you know, like a, one of these containers or whatever you have at home. 
and you just have it for when you need it. You don't have to make it each time you want to do something. Oh yes, this is looking lovely. Good, so beautiful, beautiful. So I'm gonna take this fish now and bam right inside here. Another piece left. This one right, right inside here. Put it on the ends, get rid of this. Okay, wash off my hand. Good. Take this back. And you're looking good. You're looking good, guys. Just wipe this out. Lunch is almost ready to be served. That's looking good. Let's just give ourselves another little taste. Looking good behind here. Mm. Tasting fantastic. I'm gonna put a bit of paper towel in here, in this dish at the bottom. Let's just turn our fish. You can see the fish. Good, I have it up to high, high heat. Let's just check our cuckoo now. Looking good. I can add some more of the worker slash water. So inside, it's looking really good. We're gonna keep mixing this all up. Looking really good. Okay, fish is stirring nicely. So the fish, we're all gonna now. Now the fish is nice and black. I'm gonna take it out from here. This we are finished with. I'm gonna take this now back over here. And then we're gonna take the fish now. We're gonna pop the fish right in here. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Isn't that gorgeous? The fish is in there. I'm gonna take a bit of sauce right over the fish like that. And this fish now is gonna add some of that fish flavor to our sauce. Then I'm gonna take now the lid, pop that lid back on there, and I'm gonna lower this heat and let that fish just finish off for me. Let's just look at our cuckoo. We wanna taste this now, see if it needs, it will need some salt. And then we're gonna add, let's just get a spoon. Let's just taste it. I'm tasting for two things, see if it needs salt, which I know it needs, and also to see if the cornmeal is all cooked out as well. Whoa! It's almost there. Doesn't need much salt, to be honest. It's already very flavorful. Just a little bit down in there. Let's just mix this up. And I'm gonna give this a few minutes to cook out a bit more. We're gonna come back and look at our fish. Are we getting ready for lunch? I can't wait. Okay, our cuckoo is looking really good. So that's what it looks like before the okras. So I'm gonna go ahead now. I'm gonna add the okras here, which, let's just put this here. So we're gonna add these in here now. Oh wow, that's amazing. So add these in here. I'm also gonna add as well too. I like it nice and mellow, so I'm gonna add some butter. Butter goes in there as well. And now we're gonna mix this all in. And this is looking so amazing. I'm looking forward to lunch today. I haven't had cuckoo in ages. So I thought, you know what, let me make some cuckoo. And while I'm making cuckoo today, let me show you how to make cuckoo as well too. If you don't know how to make cuckoo in some other part of the world, wherever you are. But I know in Barbados, most people know how to make cuckoo. Maybe some Asians know how to make cuckoo, but if you don't, you're learning today. So I'm gonna take just a little bit, not a lot, just a small amount, and I'm gonna add just a little bit of this in here. Mix this all up. And then I'm gonna show you how I toss it in a bowl and put it into my serving bowl and then we have our fish. So let's just show you this cuckoo now. So can you see that? That's what we're looking for. I'm gonna give this another taste. Mmm, that's so fantastic. Whoa. That's amazing. 
And you see, the okras, because I left them out, while well, it's making the cocoa, the okras are nice and green. Good, so that's beautiful there. Let's just check our fish. Oh, wow, look at that fish. I want to show this fish to you. This looks so great. Look at the fish, steaming all in there, the sauce. Let's just uh, taste this now. The fish is all ready. Mmm, that's fantastic. That's amazing. Cover that. That's finished. So I'm going to turn this off. And we're going to go ahead now. And we're going to plate this up. I'm going to show you how everything is done. Okay, so I'm going to plate my cuckoo now because I am hungry and I'm excited about eating this cuckoo. So let's just check this out. So I bring this over. This one here. And I have the sauce which is here for the fish. And what we're gonna do now, I normally take a bowl, we can take more like this. Take a bit of butter, and you're gonna rub a lot of butter in your bowl, just like this all the way around. It'd be nice if you had like a little deeper bowl, but I hope that this bowl works out and that I don't embarrass myself in front of you. <laughs> so I leave, I leave back a little bit of butter, but the reason why you butter is because we're gonna put the cuckoo in here. I mean, want it to be able to move around. Uh, that's nice. Now you take here, let's just put a little bit more in here. You just take it and move it around. I'm gonna see if I can flip this. Doesn't wanna flip for him. The bowl is a bit too shallow. And then we take it and turn it like that. So we put some more butter. Right in here, get it really nice and buttery. Oh, this is looking so good. Some butter, make sure you have a lot of butter in here. But not a lot, but enough so it doesn't stick. We don't want it to stick, so that should be good. I'm gonna put some more in here. I'm having lunch with my friend Robert, so I'm setting up two plates. Uh, oh, this looks so good. But better, a, a bit taller bowl. Just move this around. Oops, this is a bit of butter. And that's gonna smoothen it out nicely. And then right in there. So that's how we do that. Now, to the other part of this amazing dish. Get the spoon in here. And then just make a little hole here. This is where you can put all the sauce. That's where the sauce goes. Right in there. See that? So that's our hole for our sauce. Now, the next part. Ta-da! The fish. Rest that here. I'm gonna take some fish now. Let me get something to hold it. I'm gonna put a piece of fish right here. Mmm, that looks delicious. And a piece of fish right here. Now, what's it, what is this missing? Is pickled cucumbers. I so love pickled cucumbers. So let me get a ladle so we can put a bit more sauce on faster because you can't wait. Uh, where do I put the two ladles right here? We can't wait for that small spoon and you just put some nice sauce all in here. And then you put some more sauce all in here. And we're gonna go ahead now, sit down. I got my ice and my drink right there. And we're gonna enjoy this cuckoo and steamed fish. Only thing it's missing is some pickled cucumbers and you will have an outstanding meal. So I'm gonna head over to the table and I'm gonna taste this and tell you what this is all about, how this is looking, how this is tasted, everything. I'm gonna cover this back, put this back on the stove because we wanna have some seconds. And I'm gonna go ahead and taste this meal. So I'm gonna head over to the table now with this. Here we go. So I'm here with Robert, my friend, and I don't know, Robert, have you? Robert's from India. He's from Calcutta, in India. And I don't know if you've had cuckoo before. Have you had cuckoo before? No, not really. Okay, so it's really uh, cornmeal and okras, uh, you know, made into a nice, well, it's a very thick porridge. And I made some steamed uh, snapper. We normally use flying fish. He brought me this for salt fish. I, could, I was looking for some salt fish earlier, but I couldn't find salt fish, so I just grabbed this red snapper. 
the block in it, I made it into a nice kind of a, like a Creole sauce. Um, you normally use a bit of pepper salt as well to incorporate this. But I do like pepper salt. So I'm going to put a bit of this here. This one is one out of sync. It's called uh, Brimstone Flavors, which is phenomenal. Very spicy. Some pepper for you. Yes. And uh, so let's just go ahead and partake. I'm going to go ahead and pour my drink so it gets nice and chilled. Let's just pour that. Uh, let's say grace first. Father, we thank you for this meal, and we ask you, Lord God, to bless this meal in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Hallelujah. You have a napkin, Robert? Yes. Thank you. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and taste this now. Wow. I hope you're enjoying this. Let's just try to cook it first. Bon appetit. Mm. Bon appetit. I hope you enjoy. Good. How's that for you? Yes, that was good. And this fish, this as well. Kuku with cornmeal is good. Mm -hmm. Mm. I don't think we're gonna need any supper, heavy supper tonight. Mm. Mm. This is really good. The cook is very nice and mellow, so smooth. It's well cooked. Mm. This is good. The fish, fish. Mm -hmm. How's the fish? How's the fish? Okay, let's taste some of the fish. Good. Fish is good too? So you, you like it? Yeah. Okay, Robert likes it. So Robert's from India, we don't do cuckoo in India. But he likes it, so we passed here in the Caribbean to make it yeah. for Barbados. So that's it for me. We're going to go ahead and eat this meal. Enjoy this beautiful view. Again, I'm Sean Hazard. And for me, it's all about food.